And that's yeah. how the spence will look at the bottom with the intercooler. It's nice that it comes, it already comes in there. So yeah. you see, um, it's uh, much longer. longer. Or, look, it's uh, wider. Everything is better than OEM. Like yeah. Just, uh, Small little, <laughs> little block here. I mocked up the Varus. Caught with the front lip. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put the logo in the front. We do have a hole right there. So I'm basically, the hole does line up in the middle. So what I'm going to do is use the hole to put this directly in the middle. Because the lip is basically, that's it. That's the whole lip right there. One thing, of course, that when you buy this grill that you have to, have to keep notices, it doesn't come with the Red H emblem and it doesn't come with the Type R emblem as well. So that is another thing where you got to spend extra money on or you can reuse your old one that's on the car. For the 2019, 18 and 17, this is the part number for the front emblem. And then if you want the Type R emblem, this is the part number right here. So I believe this is type and then the R is by itself. So that is a uh, pretty unique that it's actually not one whole badge is actually separate. So and this thing is pretty clean. This is how the back looks. It's just a sticker. These two little prongs to guide it in. That's it. I don't know if you could mess this up, but imagine putting an emblem backwards. <laughs> One is for the R, one is for type. Let's, let's go ahead and take it out. Has the same little holes on the back and tape. So pretty nice. Gonna do the same method, clean it. These are how both of them look. Very clean. put the EVS grill in okay. and Jimmy's going to show you guys how to do it. Okay, so first, we basically want to remove all the screws first. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They come up pretty easily. I don't need to do anything crazy. And I guess there's a special way for the brows. The brows, uh, we'll do once the grill is off. Easier okay. that way. We'll take this whole black piece out. Okay. So you're gonna need to move two more. There is a uh, plastic pin. It's only a flathead. So two more screws here. You see, it's just more push pins. Those pins. A lot of pins everywhere. Or clips. Clips, I guess. There you go. And the whole thing drops. And got two more. Yeah, so this is the uh, one of the tabs here. You want to just get out the way. There you go. Let's just try to get these two off. Yeah, these two as well. mobile so now um everything's mobile in the bottom half of the grill so now it's these guys these are all you gotta be careful with so one two three four five six seven eight you kind of just pick one area and kind of just work at it so these tabs are technically 
it's a flat tab i think you can see here yeah and there's a little nipple underneath that hooks on top so we'll just try to carefully push it up and push out Oof. And this is the only way you can do it kind of just worked at all of them there you go yep okay that's good this is out this is out oh this is out Oop. almost if you're running the jay's grill you gotta cut this off oh you do oh yeah. shoot let's just work our way out so let's do it now since we're working our way out we'll do the side thing this one's usually pretty easy by hand yeah there you go One more. This guy right here. Oh, there you go. Well, we're good. So let's remove the grill carefully. Um, it's just this tab here. Kind of just want to slowly open it. There you go. Comes right out. Ooh. Just be very careful. This is plastic, so one wrong move and it's gone. There you go. There she is. Boom. That's the brew. Two yeah. $2,000, guys. <laughs> I'll just pop it in now. Same two tabs. Mm -hmm. Just go right in there. And if the two things fit right there, here, click. Bingo. Good Whoa. sounds. Yeah, so same thing here. You see the two clips? See right there? See everything will line up? Okay, so let's push it in. Here, click. That's it. Let's put this new one on. Put this here, and I'll work backwards. Can I hold it real quick? A little quick. Yep. Jeez. Yeah, that's gonna look good. That looks good. I kind of missed mine. Oh, yeah, it looked really good. It looked really good. Oh, yeah. Wow. After seeing it, I was like, oh man, uh, I definitely got to yeah. uh, do this. Okay, so pretty much uh, everything, same thing. So let's go reverse order. So let's line these tabs up again. Tab in. He's doing the top tabs. Yeah, do the top tabs again. Kind of, I like lining the center ones up because that's like the main ones. Just get them in there. Let's go underneath it a little bit on the second one. I'm just making sure the bottom's all situated. First. Oh, you're looking at the bottom too. Yeah, make sure like all around here is situated. Then I'll push the tab in. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Oh, OEM yeah. fitment. Yeah. <laughs> all I hear is click clicks. Yes. Ooh, they're all in. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and well, same thing. Just uh. Cuts. Yeah, kidney cuts. So now we so now there's uh, two tabs back here again. We pressed these earlier, mm -hmm. so we want to just push them back in. There you go. Okay. And all the little, all the holes lined back up. So remember, there's two here first. There you go. Or you can use a, you can use a Phillips as well, but with this you don't want to full send it. Correct. Or you're just like over thread it. There you go. One click is good enough. So this lines up. Remember this hole. We'll line it with this hole here. Yep. So this tab's good. Thing's good. Good. Everything checks off. Okay. Let's push this in. Um, let's put these two clips, push clips back in. You can see the hole before it. Yep. See there? Right there. Boom. Yep. Bingo. And one more. Perfect. So now two, two here. So let's do that slowly. Rush anything. Okay. Perfect. 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 Okay. So now, same thing here. One, two, three, two, four, five, six, three, six, and two more down here. One, two, two. There you go. That's more than enough. Don't, don't go crazy. There you go. There 
here. This goes into the grill. This is the back piece of the grill. There we go. Because behind here, you can feel this, the, the other end of it. Mm. Okay. Make sure everything's situated. Perfect. Make sure this thing is hooked in underneath right. You can feel the fitment of the grill. Kind of, I mean, it's OEM, so it should line up perfect. And then to do the reverse side. One. Perfect. Let's it. And let's check the fitment all around. Let's check a look in the front. See how she looks. Woo! Jeez. That, that, was, looks, that looks really good. Yeah, it really does. Good. Jeez. I'm excited. <laughs> yep. Man, that came out real nice. Super flush. I mean, everything clicked back just like OEM, so. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's good. Now, we're done. Let's put everything back. We're gonna do uh, this. So, uh, let me see if move this out the way. Just the negative. Okay, so then this, the, um, remember this little guy? Yep. Let's put it back. Actually. I'm going to do it now. Yep, put it back. Three 12 millimeters right here. Let's line this up. And make sure when you do this that this part is outwards. This part is on top. Like that. Oh, okay. Set this on top. On top. On top. Let's just, just line these up right here. Okay, perfect. And that battery tree just floats in the air, basically. Yeah, pretty much. On the wall. And then here, the just thread by hand. And that's what, three, the 312? 312 millimeters. And this car has a lot of bolts and clips and... So many. Okay, so now, let's take life easier. You see inside the tray, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A lot of stuff. Yep. Okay, so now let's tighten the 12 millimeters. Just a battery tray, you don't need to go crazy. There you go, perfect. Four, seven, yep. So remember this one, it only goes in one way. So this is wrong, this is right. That where protrudes up. Also here, there is one bolt that's longer than all of them. This one goes, the longest, the longer one goes right here. Yep, the longer one. I'll just throw them all in by hand a little bit. All of this, <laughs> all of this to hold a battery. Little things. That, that, this bolt, this bolt, this bolt goes into the yep. side over there. Okay. That's everything. This one a little bit. So you just loosen them all up. Plenty. And the side too. You know before I used to do all this by hand? Can you imagine that all by hand? Mm -hmm. This is a click. I mean, there's, they're small bolts, so you don't want to go. Do you crazy. have to do the 12 or the 12s yep, again? again. Yeah. Well, I only loosen them a little bit, so it's not too bad. Yeah. I like, I like, I prefer it by hand anyway for the bigger ones. These small ones, it's like the torque's like nothing.
That's good. Drop the battery in. So Clear. this. Stuff out. This. Uh, the tray. Yep, the tray. Bottom one. Oh, it actually kind of lines up. Uh, you see this one, two, three. Kind of lines up. One, two, oh, with three. The holes, okay. Yeah. See how there's like holes around here. Mmm. It's like yeah. little nipples at the end of it. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Just drops right in. Mm. Battery. I like doing the I like doing the cover first and then the battery. Because uh, this thing right here. Mmm. Goes right here. For the hook. Uh, okay. This shows you where the hook there. is when you put the battery tie down. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Oh my god. Yep. Thank you. Yep, then just if anything, work a finger around, situate it. There you go. Woo! Good. Oh god. Okay, so now let's do the battery tie down. Oh yeah, this thing. Not too bad actually. I hope it's easier than my uh, <laughs> 8 Gen Honda Civic Asai. So this one goes to the outer hole right here. Oh, it just goes right there. Yep, the outer hole right there. This one you shouldn't adjust because we adjusted, we loosened from the other one. Mm. So it's right there. Oh yeah, we never, looks. yeah, we didn't even adjust that one, that side nope. over there. Yeah, yeah. And this is the main guy. Yep, right there. Oh, it's just like a little hook right there. Yep. Oh, that's that little hook that had the mm -hmm. little... Oh, okay. So where y'all saw the little hook right there, you just hook it up underneath there. Mm. And then tie down the battery. Just bolt it down. Yeah. Always check. That's good. Oh, yeah. She's on there. There's not really like a tightness to it. You kind of just go until you see how much uh, compression you want. <laughs> you want it scent scent or you want it okay. Okay, so I mean, it's good. Battery's on, let's put positive. Okay, let's uh, go here. And with this uh, negative, then you'll see a little spark, but don't be afraid. Yeah, right there. Spark and sound. Yep. Good. Put this box in there. Intake box. Uh, let's leave this out here. After later, we'll put it back. Right, so before we put the box back, always check these guys here, here. Let's make sure they're on good. And right there, and that's good. And right, let's make sure this one's here. Okay. So let's just move this out the way for now. Angle it like this. So then this rubber grommet will go right here. So you'll kind of line it up, and then you'll eyeball it in there. Then you can see it from the side. Just slowly drop its way in there. Get it on top of the gr that grommet. There you go. Half the things you just gotta do by feel. Mm. You see it, and then you gotta just do it. Yep. yep and then press down. There you go. Heard it a little. Kind of heard it. Let me just check it. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah, yep, right yep, there. Yep, right there. You can see it from yep, right there. Now, we'll put this one in. Everything's nice because everything lines up for you. Here to here. And then uh, here, this this tab will go right here. So everything lines up easily. So let's do it. And then as long as this lines up right there. Yep. Okay. I can put it a little more with the flathead. 
And then when you, this is gonna tighten it up. Yep. Yep. You'll tighten everything up. Glee. <laughs> look, it, it, look, it's in there. Yep. Okay. Good. So now, yeah. So tighten this. Push in. Make sure everything's tightened. Actually, I don't think I loosen this one. Perfect. And go. This is a 732. So this you don't want to go crazy. Many times I've seen that thing breaks easily. Let's just get to a nice tightness and call it a day. Nice. Perfect. Mouth sensor. One, two. One, two. Clean. Bam. I mean, everything's honestly just like mm -hmm. mainly a 10, 12, 14. Yeah. Those are three main ones. Nice. So don't forget this one because your stock intake. So, everything's back on. Let's throw the bump back on. Metal on top of the plastic. The plastic's always on the bottom. And then slide each of these guide pins in. Or guide latches, I guess. And then make sure they're centered before you tighten them. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm curious. Nice. Yep, in the front. I'll show you. Damn, do you know about, uh, what's the name? Yeah. So with this, you want to use the tip that's more flat, not pointy, so you get more grip on these, because a lot of times, if you just tighten with a screwdriver, it may eventually fall off, strip anything. So you kind of just go. We're going to test out the horn and see if it works. <laughs> I'm actually curious to see the difference between this and Hellhorn. Right there. Oh, good. I think yours might be a little bit louder. Louder, right? A little bit. I mean, that's pretty loud, too. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, not here. I just want to be careful with the eyelids. If you're doing it solo, align the center, put one clip in, and then you're good. Okay, yeah. So. Uh, and then do you have the, do you take the tape off? Yeah, or? we just take it off now. Yeah. And that's what I was telling you, you have to do it blindly. And so you got to push down on these little tabs. So he went ahead and took off those little pieces of tape to protect yep. the bumper. So now let's make sure you just reach in here and plug the fog light, fog light back in. And you'll have a fun time taking off everything again. And so it just goes, you just grab your hand and then you just plug it up, for, yep. up upward, right? Plug straight, straight in. Straight in? Yeah. Okay. There you go, here, click, and you're good. Boom. Oh, there we go. Okay. So with this one, um, I like lining it up. There. So you'll be pushing at a diagonal up here, and you'll line these things up. Let me make sure everything is situated. There you go. Lined up, ready to go in, ready to go in. There you go. She's in. Just open the side up a little bit. There you go. Oh, yeah. so feel under here. Good. Same thing here. Don't get too excited. You gotta do the fog lights. Light. He's sticking his hand in there. There you go. Same idea. Make sure it is. Get it in. Uh, let me check the eyelids too. Click. Click. All right, I go back check out the one. Lined up, lined up. Ready. There 
we go. Woo. That's scary because I saw it like yeah. went underneath the headlight. It goes like. <laughs> that's, that's, that's why you need to be right on it, right, right before it's ready to, to uh, latch in. It kind of like, it looked like it was going to go in it, but it just kind of like. Yeah. You know, it just scooped its way in. Yeah, it yeah. scoops its way in. Yeah, it's already in. Yep. There you go. She's back. Ooh. Now it's time for the 20 million clips. So I'll now... Get my, I'll get him and come right back. And he'll, he'll, be, he'll go with one of the cars now. Okay. I'm just going to get him and come right back. Okay, so, so they now, just lays on yep, top. Lay on top. Now remember that, like, the one we put earlier? Just take it back out. Yeah, okay. The center one doesn't get covered, so put it back in. Oh, so the center one doesn't get covered? Yeah. Oh, okay. Line this up. This goes underneath here. This area goes underneath this. Okay. This corner goes in this corner, this ball. Okay. Mm, go, so okay, yeah. like that. And this here, you'll need a flathead. Just help push the rubber in. There you mm. go. Put these orange clips back in. Damn. Now 20 million clips. Just saying, there's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot. There's so many. Oh, shoot, there's more. And then there's still yeah, some no. down there. So for this one, um, you kind of put a pinky under here. See the bottom piece moves. For, this is like the part of the radiator area, I think. Just put a finger under here. Hold it. You can put it in. Bingo. Mm. Clean it up later. Yep, everything lines up. Nice. And these guys kept the set together. Eyelids just poke right in. Mm. Stretch it a little bit, poke in. Stretch a little bit, poke it in. This, I like doing it parallel, as in this line here would be parallel with the eyelid. Just so afterwards, if you ever remove it, you have access to your flathead like this, mm -hmm. rather than you know, a weird, weird angle. Mm -hmm. Small things. So these are a little bit different, and then you got the clips on the end. Yep. So same thing on this side, we'll stretch, a stretch a little one. bit, stretch a little bit. Don't forget, this also goes underneath this part too. See? Okay. So if you had it like this, that's wrong. Just underneath. Okay. There you go. Make it parallel. Bam! Ooh. Oh, then you see 10 millimeters? 10 mils, yep. So with these, you see where the indentation is? You see the step here? So the step of this bolt mm -hmm. will go in here into the into the plastic so you don't want this indentation on the side or else you'll be compressing the plastic for it mm. see here see out here see how it's starting to touch the end like that mm -hmm. just push the just push like that see mm. yeah it lines up perfect now okay. yep exactly yep that's the correct way to do it same thing just move it a little bit there you go Perfect. Ooh. Now all the bottom clips, like 10 of them. Those are easy. Yep. Just push them in. Okay, here. Push them all in. It's going along the of the lip. Yep. So you don't need to remove any of these clips or anything or the Allen key. Just remove the bolts or the clips that are on the lip. That's all you need. Then the ones in the engine bay. Saves you so much time and headache. Back to normal. We just got the side, side screws. Side yeah. screws, yep. Yeah. 
see how she looks. Nice. That's good. That grill definitely makes it stand out a bit. Mm, yeah. Jeez. Yeah, that changes the look a bit for the front. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the intercooler. Yeah, C N R. It's good. It's dope. You got Jimmy's car right here with the H K S intercooler. Oof. So Jimmy, if you guys haven't seen the video, he did install my downpipe as well and the P T P turbo blanket. Beautiful. Yep. So he's just looking over all the stuff that we did. All of these are in there. Some of the fiberglass. Piece. Piece. And two extras. And we got <sighs> two extra bolts. The wheels on the wires. No, I don't think it's not. So that's the very little front lip. Looks good. So it is the next day, and I want to go over. I know I probably ran out of space. And it was getting late, but I wanted to go over the last part of the mod we was doing. We were doing the Varus carbon fiber lip in the front. So I know the audio went out a little bit, so I'm going to address what we did. So the first thing we did was on top of the lip, we did the double sided tape that goes all around the top where it has actually like a little reflection and dimple of where you're supposed to place the tape around the top of the carbon fiber lip so you do that first i would definitely say guys if you guys are doing this install to definitely get i would say three people at max one person in the middle two people on the edge to make sure that is lined up correctly the fitment for all the various parts that i've seen so far has been on point so i would definitely Give it a thumbs up for Varus. The fitment is on point. So if you guys don't know, I have the Varus front lip and it comes about here. This whole piece right here behind here lines up perfectly. As you guys can see, lines up perfect as well, right there on the edge. So the fitment is on point. Then 
we went ahead and put this weather stripping so what this weather stripping is it does is from it blocks water from getting from the tape and it deflects the air from going underneath the lip as well so it basically sticks on the edge around the bottom of the original lip and it's pretty nice too and it, it really sticks on there really good so basically you stick it at the edge of it and then you move it across the side of the bottom of the lip and it form basically forms on the edge of the lip as you guys can see right there goes around goes around there and they even give you extra so you actually have to cut it it looks really uniform it looks very clean it came out amazing shout out to jimmy for helping staying late and helping with that as well because it came out beautiful all right guys and you guys can see on the knee here we have all the self tappers with the washer going around the side down here and it goes all around the lip in the middle you could probably also see the various yellow and red authentication sticker but the bolts go all around so these self tapping screws are really work good so that is pretty dope as well so it just uses a fill up flathead and came out good Ronnie show you guys the lip again pretty dope fitments on point and guys yes I did PPF and ram coat this as well this is Varus with the logo came out dope same thing with the grill ceramic coated and PPF it looks beautiful the cuts are really really nice it came out beautifully perfect and everything so that is the grill and then you can see the inner cooler down there no cutting or nothing plug and play take the old one out put the new one in came out beautiful just like that and then it also has the horn which you might be able to see it through here yep there's the horns that is the horn right there and then the charge pipes that goes that goes to the connects to the turbo and goes to the throttle body so this is it this looks sick all right guys so i want to say this i want to give a big 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 shout out to jimmy for coming over early guys early morning all the way to the end of the day to come by and show you guys the process of installing the inner cooler and the charge pipes and staying late to help install the various carbon fiber lip so you guys seen in the video jimmy was killing it he showed you guys every step of the way so i want you guys to go to his instagram i'm gonna put it on the screen go to his instagram go over and follow him on instagram go ahead and show jimmy a bunch of love for being able to show you guys the step-by-step -step process on how to do the intercooler the charge pipe i almost forgot about the grill he shows you guys how to do the grill the carbon fiber lip so go over there show jimmy a lot of love and support and comment below what is your favorite mod in the video that we did on the car so comment below hit the like button it helps the channel a lot hit the notification bell so you do not miss when a video drop you'll get a notification saying hey a new video just went live thank you guys again for the ones as always showing so much love and support commenting hitting the like button subscribe to the channel i appreciate it but that's it guys if there's anything that you guys want to achieve find your inner drive the thing that drives you to take a step toward your goals every single day and make it happen peace